Hey everybody, it's Ivy. So today we're going to be doing another Watch Me Work video. And as you guys know, I just started out doing nails. And today I'm doing my cousin's nails. They are my clients for now. Right now I'm prepping the nail. And she doesn't like her natural nail to like um, be long. Her acrylic, so I'm clipping them down. Now I'm just going to take my file and just, you know, even out the natural nail. Now I'm gonna go in and remove the shine from her natural nail and also clean around the cuticle area. Now I didn't have to push her cuticles back or anything like that because she had really good, healthy nail beds. So I'm going in with my clear tips. I got these from Amazon. If you're interested in these tips, I will have them linked below. These are like my favorite um, clear tips to use. They're just very durable and they usually, you know, fit the nails really perfectly. So now we're gonna go in and cut the nails. Now she didn't want her nails too short or too long. She wanted that nice in between type of length. So I'm just going through and cutting each nail on both hands. So once we're done cutting, I'm actually gonna line up each finger just to make sure they're the same exact length. And if you have any nails that are longer than the others, just go in and trim them down. Now I'm gonna take my nail clipper and just clip the sides a little bit because she did want a coffin shape or more so like a ballerina shape. Um, this is like coffin slash ballerina. Now this shape is actually kind of hard for me. Um, I really like doing like a tapered square because it's the easiest. It's just something about this coffin ballerina shape that I'm still trying to perfect. Basically all I do is go in and cut a little bit from each side and just, you know, um, file it kind of like on a angle. And now I'm gonna go in and file the tips just to blend it in with the natural nail. So everything is nice and smooth and ready for my acrylic application. Now we're gonna go in with our primer. I'm using my Mia Secret Primer and I like to use two coats of primer. And we're gonna go in with this Mia Secret um, Purple Acrylic. And on this video, you guys, I'm actually trying like a new technique now, me being a beginner, my favorite technique is the three ball or four ball method. So I watch a whole bunch of nail techs here on YouTube. And for some reason with this set, I wanted to try a new technique. So I tried to do the one ball method. And let's just say you guys, I did get this nail, you know, smooth and to come out correctly, but I spent way too much time on this set because I wasn't doing nails how I usually do them. But as simple as this set is, it was really complicated for me, like just trying to get um, the acrylic smooth and even and everything. This was like one of the hardest sets I've done lately. So I am gonna have a few um, mistakes here and there in this video. And the reason why I wanted to do a voiceover is to um, let you guys know the mistakes I made. And these are like common mistakes when you first start doing nails. Um, you know, it's basically trial and error. That's why I said I'm still working on like friends and family because I don't feel like I'm confident yet to actually take on clientele, okay? Um, but my friends and family have kept me busy. Like I've been doing a lot of nails like I actually have clientele. So um, on this nail, I'm gonna kinda do like a um, purple and clear ombre with like butterflies at the bottom. And I'm just gonna take a little bead of acrylic, the clear, a really thin layer and apply those um, butterflies down and i'm gonna um go in and encapsulate those once i have it you know uh to my liking so just use a little bit more clear on top just to encapsulate 
and then we're gonna go in with a little bit more clear just to make sure everything is nice and encapsulated and then I'm gonna go into my purple and I'm just gonna apply that at the cuticle and just try to ombre that down now I think I used the bead that was too wet because this was running all over the place you guys like when I was doing her nails I was kind of nervous because I'm like oh my god I'm messing up so I spent a lot of time on this one nail just trying to make sure I got everything blended and smooth because I, I definitely messed this finger up like it was hard so I just started using like little beads to go in and just fix areas where it wasn't enough acrylic as you guys can see I'm just adding um bit by bit and you know that actually works as well if you're a beginner like if you're messing up or you're trying to fix something definitely take you know little bits of acrylic instead of a large bead because you don't want to like apply too much product and just totally jack the nail up okay and now i'm just encapsulating it with clear and i'm using the clear to kind of just build up the nail and build up an apex because when you're using like colored acrylics you don't really want to use um too much of the acrylic and make it too thick just apply a thin layer then encapsulate it in clear and then that way when you go back to filing and everything like that you won't file away you know your colored acrylic or whatever design you created with your color acrylic so i'm just gonna repeat that same design on the next nail and this nail was much easier because i already um you know had my little trial and error so i knew exactly um you know how to do this one and um not to pick up such a wet bead this time uh so yeah nails are just like trial and error you guys um it's no way to get better but practice okay and I feel like, you know, doing nails on myself versus other people is so different. It's just the way you have to position your hands and the brush and how fast you have to work. It's just a totally different thing. And right now, you guys, I'm trying to work on my speed and also the thickness of my nails. I find that I make my nails kind of thick. Um, I think I'm getting better. I did this set about a month ago and I um, did another set um, on myself not too long ago and I actually made it the thickness that I wanted like it's not too thick or too thin it's, it's perfect and I did the ombre really good on um, this second nail now I will have to say I just got some new acrylic powders and me a secret acrylic powders the uh, colored ones are not the best colored acrylics you guys i got some from this company called not polish and they are so buttery and creamy and just they work so much better these mia secret colored acrylics are really hard to use like they're very kind of chalky and they don't um they don't like blend together well so definitely their colored acrylic is not my favorite so i'm on the hunt for more colored acrylics so if you guys know of any really really good ones i don't care the price comment down below because i'm definitely going to go check them out and um yeah you guys i'm just doing this nail the same way encapsulated in clear and now i'm just gonna go in and um do my last two nails which are just uh the full purple nails and as you guys can see i'm still doing that new method of applying um my bead at the cuticle first and then going down now this method may work for some but it did not work for me you guys like i spent so much time on this one nail like as you guys can see it's lumpy right there it's just it's doing a lot <laughs> but in the end i got it to look exactly how i wanted like i don't know this set was so hard for me but you know in the end it really came out super super cute and um, I'm just going to keep adding acrylic until everything looks kind of smooth. And then I'm just going to um, encapsulate it in clear because I felt myself like adding too much purple acrylic. And I was like, oh, I'm going to stop here and, if, and, you know, go ahead and just encapsulate in clear because the clear can hide, you know, like some of those little lumps and bumps and everything. And it'll help everything uh, look more smooth and come together. So definitely encapsulate your nails, okay? It's your best friend. 
when using these um, colored acrylic powders. So now I'm done with my thumb. I'm just encapsulating it and I did my thumb how I did all of the other nails and I'm gonna go in and drill these with my e-file. I'm not sure what bit this is I'm using. I just know it's a fine bit and I really like this one because I'm able to get around the cuticle well and smooth out the nail really easy. I really like this nail bit. I will leave it uh, linked below, but I'm just going through and smoothing out those nails, getting some of that bulk off the nail because you guys, like I kind of use a lot of product on this set and I definitely wanted to um, smooth them out because these were her graduation nails. So they have to be perfect. They have to be popping. So just make sure, you know, if you have any lumps or bumps, so go through and smooth out your nails take your time okay smooth them out you know clean underneath right there it might have gotten some dried up acrylic when you were applying and um that's pretty much all i did right here in the next clip i'm going to show you guys me fouling the nails just um touching up the shape again and i'm just trying to perfect that coffin slash ba ballerina shape um, I'm trying to work hard to learn how to get my shape really crispy. Like I was saying, shaping is a big key in your nails um, looking very nice and clean and professional. Definitely don't rush. Shaping is super important. So now I'm going to go in with some rhinestones around the cuticle of the nail. This is the little design she wanted and I thought it was so cute. You guys, it's like a really pretty type of, I don't know, fairy girly really just a really cute design i love this color with the rhinestones the rhinestones really set it off and i just placed those around the cuticle and i had one larger one in the center and smaller ones on the outside i think i used about six to eight rhinestones each nail and um i did go in and dry each nail after i applied the rhinestones because i don't like my rhinestones to move around. I like to put them on there and dry it for about 15 seconds and move to the next nail. And then once I'm done with the whole hand, you know, I let that dry for a minute. So once the rhinestones were dry, I did go in with my OPI top coat and this just melted everything together. It just looks so pretty and glossy. I really like the um, ombre nails. They were so cute. I think I'm gonna attempt to do this uh, set on myself, maybe in green or something like that. I just thought this was so girly and so cute, but I definitely want my nails to be a lot longer. Good night. Good night, baby. Oh, close the door, baby. Good night, man. Good night, mom. <laughs> okay you guys so um i'm just going in and still adding that clear okay and once i'm done adding the clear polish on the nails i do like to take my finger and just go in and kind of just like wipe the sides because sometimes this polish can mess up your um crispy shape and like i was saying earlier like i have to have the crispy shape like that makes your nails look pretty and crisp and perfect. So I let these cure for about another minute. These were the end result. I just thought they turned out so pretty, you guys. Like she absolutely loved them. They are so cute, you guys. Please comment below if you like them. Please don't forget to subscribe, thumb this up, and thanks again for watching. Let me know if you guys are enjoying my nail videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.